my first instinct is why is my husband not here supporting me? Mm. And in, you know, in his defense, and I know this is not, I mean, we should all just know, no matter what yeah. with your, be with your wife, right? He couldn't grasp it. Like he couldn't, he couldn't, he didn't know how to process it himself. No, not at all. And so I felt isolated. I resented him. Mm. Why wasn't he there for me? Why wasn't he taking care of me? He was still going to rehearsals. He was yeah. still going to work. Like, why is he not here? Yeah. And why am I doing this alone? Yeah. And that caused a huge resentment between him and I. To be honest with you, him and I have never had these conversations, conversations. because it's hard. It's hard, yeah. You know, even to go 13 back. years yeah. later, why do we have to go back when we're doing so well now? Yeah. Right? There's so many young marriages that's probably dealing with that right now. Yeah. Yeah. And they're like, how do we come back from this? Right. I know y'all said divorce is not an option. I know I was a, mm-hmm. How do we get our, our marriage back centered yeah. on Christ? The thing that you think that you're missing from your spouse is what you're missing from, from God. Yeah. No, but with Terrence and I, I can give you a little bit of background on us. Mm-hmm. Um, I was 17. <laughs> Let me Aww. just set the scene. Um, I was living in Washington state at the time. Okay. Um, and I was dating this guy online and I wasn't supposed to be and <laughs> right. Online and dating. Yeah, I was. How was that? No, uh, wait, okay, so this wasn't Terrence. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I wasn't dating Terrence online. Oh really? I was dating somebody else. That was here? No. Oh, just somebody else in general. <laughs> so you yeah. was just like out here you know, in these 17. online streets just like, dating yeah, everybody. Yeah, just... it was like the online thing, right? Like we didn't know what the <laughs> what we were doing just, just in the like, chat room cool. yeah you're my yeah. boyfriend you're my girlfriend but um mm. this guy i was like oh i can't stand him he's annoying blah 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 blah. Mm. and um so i went into a chat room for like five seconds those of you who don't know it's yahoo chat room oh man right it I wasn't days. there was no such thing as dating sites at the time i mean i'm sure there was but they cost like 500 dollars. yeah ain't do nobody that. doing that and um i just got an instant message and it was like hey asl and i'm like First of all, who's this, and why aren't we having a conversation, and why are you just automatically asking what my age, sex, and location is? (laughs) What was your username? And then I married him. Oh, It was Hanisi1224. He had to ask those questions. Because he didn't know if it was a girl or a guy? Right. (laughs) Exactly. Yeah, so. I got your back, though. I got your back. I got your back. (laughs) And so it was... um, we just were talking back and forth and my immature self had just gotten a cell phone <laughs> and I got a cell phone without my parents knowing at the, at the gas station. Mm, so you had a burner phone yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and my best friend's mom was paying for it. And so I Don't you just had, love teenage years. Oh my gosh, right. so stupid. <laughs> if any of my kids did that today, I would like flip ready to fight um, their parents. Dude. Yeah, I would just fight parents. whoever was on the other end. Um, but I had just gotten this cell phone and like, I'm not thinking, Yeah, let's be safe. So I give him my cell phone number. <laughs> I give him my cell phone number and then we just start texting and blah, blah, blah. We were texting back and forth for a while. And then one night I broke up with this guy cause I was talking to Terrence. Mm. And then like 20 minutes later, Terrence asked me to be his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, Terrence? This was 17. I was 17, but he thought I was 18 because I told him I was 18 because I didn't know what was going on. And so, um, and then I told him, just kidding. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 18. I mean, 17. Yeah. This is a story that he tells every. He told him everybody at our wedding. <laughs> she lied to me and said she was 17. I mean, 18. But she like, was really 17. Yes. <laughs> you were underage. I was underage. He could have went to jail. Oh, yeah. That's why he said ASL. I said 18. <laughs> I didn't think about that. You could have gone to prison. You could have had him hemmed up like Josh Giddy. <laughs> I didn't put two and two together until I was today years old when I realized my I husband. Today years old when I realized I could have gone to prison. I could have sent my husband to jail for I'm so sorry. <laughs> at eighteen. Anywho, um, so we started dating virtually, mm-hmm. uh, talking back and forth. It was cute, right? We would, you know, back in the day, we'd record yeah. ourselves with. An actual video camera. You would record yourself talking on the phone? No. On a camcorder. Like, we would record, like, our day. 
Oh, like vlogging. Is that weird? Like vlogging your yeah. day. <laughs> yeah, and then we would send the tape to each other. Oh, that's so sweet. I never thought of that. It was so dumb. <laughs> like, if, like, here's the thing. If you go back and you think about it, you're like, who does that? Did you at least... <laughs> Did you at least film when you went to the toilet? <laughs> no. I would do that today. I would totally do that today. I believe it. I believe it. Yeah. Um, like, yeah, I'm about to go use the bathroom. Let me put the camera down. <laughs> yeah. And so I hadn't met Terrence in person yet. Mm. And so I was, uh, he had planned to travel mm-hmm. to Washington mm-hmm. um, New Year's Eve. And he f- his flight got got delayed so he had to come the next day on new year's day Mm -hmm. Uh, my sister picked picked him up okay sister my sister was hungover like i drove (laughs) my sister just came just in case like he was was crazy but what would she have done she was she was hungover hungover. (laughs) so i was in this by myself um and so we went to go pick him up at the airport i was like He's so much smaller than I thought. <laughs> and she said, and he said, she has a much bigger head than I thought. <laughs> so we were together forever. No. Um, and, you know, we hung out New Year's. We went on our first dates. That we went to a movie. Mm-hmm. You know, it was kind of like a movie. But yeah. Not. And then we totally did it. <laughs> Please, mother in law, don't be listening to this. We didn't do anything. They didn't do anything. They were. They just enjoyed each other's time <laughs> it was at the totally movie theater. Totally unholy. <laughs> um, <laughs> it got unholy fast. Yeah, it did. It did. very fast. I said, "I'm ready." <laughs> <laughs> I did. Anywho, oh. um, that's said, I'm li- ready. No, I really did say that. Really? Yeah, that's how it started, and then I just and then it just didn't stop. <laughs> okay. Anyways. TMI, but it's fine. <laughs> this is a testimony. This is a marriage podcast at this point. It is. Um, but anyways, <clears throat> and so you went back, and we were just continuing to talk to each other online, blah, blah, blah. Uh, he took me to my high school prom, so he came oh, wow. back, took me to my high school prom. I've been to one prom. He's been to, like, five. Go ahead, Terry. That's what I'm talking about. I went to, like, three. I went to three proms. You know when you feel special and then you realize you're not? Yeah. You and my wife have the same me. story. She About went to not one, being special? She went to one <laughs> <laughs> She went to one prom And I went to like many I went to like three different ones I was actually prom king at my high school There weren't but like 18 of us but <laughs> <laughs> Process of elimination Process of elimination you know. um, So yeah, he took me to prom And ultimately my plan was to move to North Carolina Mind you, this is 3,000 miles away. Jesus. Whatever. Yeah. Nobody. I just was like, sure, let's do it. Mm-hmm. Um, honestly, this guy you met online. Yeah, let's go. I mean, my parents have met him at this point, so mm-hmm. they were fine. Um, I told him I was moving, and my mom made a bet that I would only last six months. Mm. My dad said I would last a year. Now my dad's they live with, with you <laughs> in North Carolina <laughs> after how long have I, how long, how many years? How many years have I been here? Since 05. Whatever the math Since is. Since 2005? Wow. I don't know math. Wow. I'm a principal, but I don't know math. <laughs> or assistant but I don't principal. Know math. Um, so, yeah, we've been to, I've, I've lived here since 05, and we've been, ma- we've been together since 04. Wow. You were like a baby at the time. I was 04, I was 14, 13 and 14, depending baby. on the month. Hmm. Yeah, because What we do used- you mean, depending on the month? Oh, never yeah. mind. <laughs> End of June. <laughs> I was twelve. <laughs> Two thousand four. I was thirteen. Yeah, I was thirteen. I feel old. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, you said two thousand five. I was like, wow. I remember two thousand. You probably like, wow. You're old. I was fourteen, fifteen. There was a lot going on. Two thousand five. My um, niece Kaylee was born in two thousand five. Ew. 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 Um, anyways, so <laughs> we, uh, so I moved to North Carolina and his, you know, his parents think I'm living, please mother-in-law don't listen to this. His, um, I'm going to send her a copy. His parents think that we, I'm living with his roommates from band. But you were living with him. We were totally living together. And totally yeah. sinning the whole time. What? <laughs> <laughs> yes. But just to give you a little bit of background, I didn't grow up in the church. Yeah. 
nope, so what does sinning mean <laughs> at this point? Well, what are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. I only went to church like during the summer when there was a vacation Bible school. I was, oh, my gosh. <laughs> across the street from our house, and they had free snacks, and uh-huh. we watched Veggie Tales. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, but at this time, like, I, I'm just like, yeah. yeah, whatever. Let's just live together. And, mm-hmm. and you know, I knew it was a secret. Mm-hmm. Um, it was supposed to be a secret. So, you know. Was it fun? Was it a fun secret to keep, or was it like? Tumultuous. Um, I it was it was kind of stressful mm-hmm. having to lie about it all the time. Like, mm-hmm. oh, not he's, his parents can't visit. If his parents visit, mm-hmm. I can't be there. You know, luckily they never visited. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they knew what was going on, <laughs> <laughs> right? And but um, you know, coming from places that I know to mm-hmm. a place that I don't know, mm-hmm. uh, it was really challenging and. You know, Terrence was in band. Mm-hmm. Then he would go home on the weekends to go to church. And you would stay. played and I would stay. Mm-hmm. Um, there were some times that I would go with him. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was challenging, you know, not knowing anybody. Uh, there were times when I felt neglected by him, mm-hmm. you know. And so. So did he. So where, where did you go to college, Terrence? So did y'all stay on. Did you stay we, on campus we, or no, you lived, lived in, an in an apartment? Okay. in Greenville. Okay. Um. But it was a challenge, you know, so I worked at a hotel. I worked at the Hilton, mm-hmm. um, and I would keep myself busy just because if I sat in my thoughts too long, it would yeah. it would drive me insane. Yeah. Um, and then you know, I played volleyball at Pitt Community College. I was a walk-on. I, okay. I, I worked and worked, and I went to school. I'm a professional student at this time. <laughs> uh, refunds are the best, They are the right? best until, uh, until, until you, you realize, turn 30. Until you, turn, <laughs> until you graduate, and then they're not. Um, but you know, Terrence and I's relationship at that time was very, it was kind of transactional, mm-hmm. you know, and what the funny thing is, is that Terrence and I haven't really had conversations about this. So he's mm-hmm. probably, this is the first time he's kind of hearing this too. We'll mind get his you, side later. Mind you, it was like mm-hmm. 2006 at mm-hmm. this time. I was 16. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, no, I was nineteen. Nineteen? Oh, you just got me by three years. Yeah, yeah. I just got me by a few years. That's all. Um, but our, our our relationship was very transactional. Um, mm-hmm. I didn't know what to do, but I also wanted to prove my family wrong, mm. right? Um, you know, I would go hang out with him and can't. We we spent a lot of time together, but it wasn't. It was. Different. It wasn't like quality time getting to know each other. It was. Yeah, it was. I mean, I think with Terrence and I's relationship, it was. I don't know. It's not like normal people's dating relationship, right? Mm-hmm. Because we were living together. Yeah. And, you know, normal people, you go home and you go to your mom and dad's house. You, yeah. Whereas I was 18 years old and I moved in with my boyfriend. Mm-hmm. So I left my my home to be with this guy. You're fami- what you were familiar yeah. to live with a guy that you just met online. like A year ago. A year ago. A year ago. <laughs> <laughs> Look at us now. <laughs> Look at God. Um, and, you can you know, find your match online. Just playing. At Yahoo Chat. Please. Yahoo Chat dot com. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, as time went on, we continue. You know, we we moved out of that apartment. I went. I I then actually got a scholarship to go play volleyball at Winston Salem State University. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, and that was hard because mm. he was. You were still in Greenville at the time, right? I think he was back and forth. Um, so I was in Winston Salem. He was in Greenville, so here I am yet again, right, mm-hmm. transitioning into a, another world by myself. Yeah. Um, and if those of you who know Terrence, he's not the most talkative person, right? <laughs> he's, not. he's not the most feelings oriented person, and I will tell you everything under the sun. Yeah. And so that was a challenge for. I mean, it's still our our opportunities today. Is yeah. that let's talk it out? I don't want him. <laughs> <laughs> Right? Give me um, something. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, so at Winston-Salem, I actually did injure my shoulder. Mm-hmm. Um, and I could have stayed, mm-hmm. but I didn't want to. And so I left because I wanted to be closer to him because mm-hmm. that was now my home. That yeah. was now my family. That's your, that's your familiar place. Yeah. And so I went to ECU. Him and I went to ECU together. Um, so you got engaged in 2007 or 2008? Sure. One of those years? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <I> have, <laughs> so sure. Terrence is better at dates than I am. I'm horrible with dates. It was, Christmas. It, was, so it, was, it was a Christmas. So him and I, we, we went to Washington State for Christmas, and he proposed. And mm. I'm like, yes. Right? So no, 
growing up, nobody taught us what it, how important it was to to mm. have a strong relationship before you get married. Get married, yeah. Be, and mind you, today nobody's really sure what they're doing when they get married. But um, you know, my parents, their marriage was, eh. I mean, it wasn't anything spectacular. It wasn't anything standoutish. My mom and dad raised us, and mm. you know, Terrence's mom and dad is. Religious, yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, different than my parents. You know, they're very um, into, they were very into church. My father, not not as much, but when he was growing up, he was. Mm -hmm. Um, But, you know, there was, there weren't strong examples for us about what marriage was supposed to look like. Um, I was like, yeah, sure, let's do this, right? We've been together long enough. Why not? Mm -hmm. Mind you, I loved him more Mm -hmm. than anything. You know, that's my family. and, And he was my rock. I mean, he still is my rock, but. You know when you say words and you're like, Ooh, yeah. that sounds Ooh, bad. that sounds horrible. Ooh. <laughs> he was my rock. Ooh, no, no, my still bad. Today. <laughs> Mind you, you're right there. Um, we get what you mean. <laughs> you know, so so we got married. Um, you know, all the wedding things, blah, blah, blah. It was the most stressful wedding ever. I mm-hmm. got sick. All mm-hmm. this jazz. I had like, we couldn't kiss at our wedding. Aww. Because I was sick. I had this huge ulcer. I looked like, oh, I looked wow. ugly. Like, you had a bum bum. Like the chick in your... Um, in your story, <laughs> <laughs> I had a huge ulcer here. Mm. I had an ulcer under my tongue. Like, I was oh, wow. sick, so we high-fived. You know, and in a way that's like, mm, did you really did get Did you really married? get married? Was it and, official? Right, you know what I'm saying? And so I'm like, in, down the line, we would love to renew our, our vows and, and all that jazz. But What drew you to Terrence? What attracted mm-hmm. you the most to him from the chat rooms and yeah. even like once you saw him. We talked a lot. I know that sounds really weird. It does sound weird. <laughs> Terrence talking yeah, a lot? Terrence just... talk we talked we would talk till two, three o'clock in the morning. Mm. Um just like you know you see on movies. Like we would t- like yeah. we would sleep, fall asleep and still be on the phone. Mm-hmm. Um he would listen to me during the times so in my family everything was sarcasm. Mm-hmm. Right. Everything was I couldn't have those deep conversations with anybody because it was just pushed off as whatever. Yeah. Um, and he was, when your son keeps calling you, you better answer that phone. Your son is calling me. <laughs> your son. <laughs> your son. He's your son now. <laughs> um, he, he would, we would have those conversations, you know, mm. um, he was cute. He was cute. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. And I, I didn't Brag about any, your man. you know, in my, in my lifetime, you know, I didn't really, I kept everything in. Mm-hmm. And I guess that's where it comes, where I come from now, how mm-hmm. I am now. This huge extrovert is because I was holding so much in. Mm. And with him, he was, uh, he cared about me. Mm. It was somebody who genuinely cared about me. And if you, if, if I look back on like my high school years and who I dated and whatnot, people thought of me as one of the guys, mm. right? And so he didn't have this preconceived notion about me yeah. that was like, oh no, he's just, she's just one of the dudes. I was an athlete. I like... I was friends with everybody in high school mm-hmm. and Terrence ha- got, ha- took that opportunity to get to know me mm-hmm. and genuinely wanted to. And I was like, what? Mm-hmm. What is this? What is this life? What is this life? You want, you want to know about me? Yeah. Yeah. And so, um, and then he would always, uh, you remember that song, the Avant song? Which one? I could read your mind. Yeah. <laughs> he would always say that. And I'm Aww. like, Okay, Terrence. And we're then, singing it. And then he would give me this sexy city look that he never gives me anymore because now we're married. <laughs> so, yeah, it's I mean, coming back. He's gonna, he's I gonna, mean, bring it, he's and, gonna bring it back. And I don't mean to. I, I, I'm not trying to sound petty or, or like like superficial or anything, but I mean, there wasn't anything extravagant. I mm-hmm. hadn't had anything in my life that mm-hmm. was like. It was the simple thing to have that, to that compare him to anybody yeah. because I didn't have to compare him to anybody. He was like my a genuine true person. Yeah. And then he told me he played the drums and I thought it was like, mm. <laughs> no, it's a different type of drum. Different type of drum. <laughs> yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> that type of drum. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, we got married and, and we got married the next day we went to the hospital cause I was, mm. sick. <laughs> you know, and I think that we have in our marriage, we have gone through so much mm. like, non what is it unconventional things uh, as we were dating that mm-hmm. we haven't really been able to date mm. okay. we went through the hard things like moving in together at such a young age yeah that we i mean 
it's weird because in my mind, I don't even, I feel like we didn't even date. Mm -hmm. We just got married. Yeah. So, but seven years later, no, we've been married for for longer than seven years. It's been for 13 years. Okay. Yeah. So we were engaged. uh, We got married in 2010. Um, and then I think that was probably the most difficult part of our marriage was being married. Was being married in the <laughs> yeah, beginning. In the beginning. In the beginning. So, um, like, walk me through what 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 in the beginning was difficult was because uh, you talked about how both of you you moved in literally like after a year of, of knowing each other and dating mm-hmm. each other, living with each other for three years. <clears throat> you go off to college, come back. Um, and then y'all are kind of it should be fine. Yeah, right? it should be fine. Like, be yeah, you, you just plugging right back in. Yeah, yeah. So what what was difficult from the marriage, or what was different from the marriage to when y'all were dating? Um, so we live together freely now at this point. So everybody knew we lived together, mm-hmm. um, and I don't think that was the hard part. I think it was so in January of the following year, I actually had a miscarriage. Mm. Um, we didn't know how to handle that. Yeah. Like we're in our early twenties. We're just like, I didn't even realize that I had a miscarriage. Mind yeah. you, I'm like previously knowing that I was pregnant. I'm like lifting up boxes. Like, yeah, oh, I can, do I can this. still do this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, um, you know, putting that. So I found out because I got, I had a blood test taken mm. cause I was having really bad cramps. I felt like I was dying slowly mm-hmm. and I got a blood test done. My mom worked at a office um, in Washington, and so I shipped those results to her, and then, mm-hmm. yeah, you were pregnant, you're having a miscarriage. Oh, wow. And I'm like, I know, what? You what? what? I'm having a what? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> like, I couldn't wrap my head around it, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. And, you know, I tell Terrence, and he, I mean, he's never dealt with this before. Yeah. I have never dealt with this before. Right. We don't know what to do. And at this age, y'all was like, what, 20? 20... <laughs> <laughs> he was 26, I was 23, wow. 4, whatever. Yeah. Um, but it's all new. We just got married, right? Yeah. So we just got married and hi, happy birthday. You have a miscarriage, wow. right? And my first instinct is why is my husband not here supporting me? Mm. And in, you know, in his defense, and I know this is not, I mean, we should all just know, no matter what yeah. be with your, be with your wife, right? He couldn't grasp it. Like he couldn't, he couldn't, he didn't know how to process it himself. No, not at all. And like, you know, in his family, when anything bad goes wrong mm-hmm. or happens, it's there wasn't anything. It was kind of like pray about it. Yeah. Okay. Right. And mm-hmm. like, so I felt isolated. I felt mm. alone at the time. I was. I was. It took a long time for this baby to to, to come, come out. out. Yeah. It was. It was a lot. And so, I resented him. Mm. You know, now I'd be like, oh, why would I do that? Because yeah. him and I have that strong relationship. But back in the day, it was like. Why wasn't he there for me? Why wasn't he taking care of me? He was still going to rehearsals. He was yeah. still going to work. Like, why is he not here? Yeah. And why am I doing this alone? Yeah. And that caused a huge resentment between him and I for, I mean, maybe just me. I don't know how he felt. We, To be honest with you, him and I have never had these conversations, conversations. because it's hard. It's hard, yeah. You know, even to go 13 back. years yeah. later, why do we have to go back when we're doing so well now? Yeah. Right? And so... Um, time went on. Mm-hmm. I went to school. Mm-hmm. He was in a band. Mm-hmm. He was going to rehearsals. And so it was, we were just living together. Mm. We had turned into roommates. Mm-hmm. Um, and I felt alone. So I was just like, fine. Mm-hmm. I'm going to start talking to somebody else. Mm-hmm. Right. And, you know, I didn't get that communication from him. I, it was, again, how's it going? Okay. Yeah. You want sex for me? Okay. That's it. You know, we were married, but it was very superficial. Transactional. Mm-hmm. Like you said. And so, um, I was in school and I was talking to a guy mm-hmm. and we continued to talk to each other. Like I would sneak off and, and lie that I was doing something and, or going to something for school or working. And I was with this guy. Yeah. Because, why? Because at the time he was, he was giving he you was what filling you, that void. Yeah, what yeah, you he needed. He was filling that void of what I needed. You know, he was like, hey, why can't, I can give you that. I mm-hmm. can give you what you need, right? Yeah. Stupid is, today, stupid is a decision I've made. Mm-hmm. But I know it needed to happen in order for Terrence and I to be where we're at today. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, Terrence, at one point, Terrence moved to Atlanta. Mm. He didn't know what was going on. Wow. 
Uh, I was continuing to do my thing with this guy, and he was in Atlanta. I was supporting him. And what was in Atlanta? What was in it? He was going to a school. Yeah. Oh, production yeah. school. Okay. He was aiming to go to production school and said mm-hmm. he was working. To, were you working somewhere at like an inventory place at the time? Because mm-hmm. his goal was to to go to production school. Yeah. Um. And so, you know, now like thinking back on it, like that was such That's, yeah. a wholeness of me to yeah. to encourage him to go. Yeah. So that so I you can have be this with, time right with that, with that other person. Yeah. And there was a. It was my birthday, and this mm-hmm. guy took me to South Carolina. Mm-hmm. And Terrence came back to surprise me, and yeah, his stuff there. was in the house. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh and, wow! Uh, yeah, yeah. So that was a huge. That was huge. You know, it was it was stupid. Hundred mm-hmm. um, percent regret it, but I know it had to happen, right? Yeah. Um, but I think what's so mo- so on that story, <laughs> you know. Hell and high water break mm-hmm. loot, like everything's mm-hmm. going crazy. Everything. My car is taken away. My father in law hates me. Everybody, yeah. like his entire family, finds out. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, why? <laughs> <laughs> why? Be, it, it, but you know, if you think back on it, he didn't know how to handle it, so he's yeah. going to the people that he knows mm-hmm. to help support him, right? Yeah. Which makes sense. Yeah. No fault of him. And you didn't have your family down here either. You. No. It's just you. Again, it's just yeah. me. Um. My my dad says you need to come home, mm-hmm. and I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I go home. Well, Terrence and I actually meet for lunch before I leave, and mm-hmm. we leave on pretty good terms. Like it's, we talk about it, and what happened has happened, and mm-hmm. I'm leaving the next day. We have lunch, and and we leave, and I leave. Um. Yeah, I mean, it was very. It was it was a very challenging time. It was very. It was time for us to grow up. Yeah. So during that time apart, mm-hmm. what did you do? What did you What did you learn about yourself? Nothing. I <laughs> seem like the worst person in the world. Uh huh. And it's okay. I'll take that. Mm-hmm. Um, during that time, I'm still talking to this guy because mm-hmm. I know well. Terrence and I aren't going to be together, so, so I guess I'll just, I just continue go and be to go with, with this person mm-hmm. who continues to love me. Mm-hmm. And if you go back onto that, you know, if you're going, it, it, this is me searching for the love that I've always wanted. Yeah. Right. Even yeah. like, even like even the thing that drew that drew you to him, to him. yeah, hundred um, percent. And and mind you, I didn't have a relationship with God during this time, right? Nope, nope. Did I still go to church with Terrence? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I still went to church, but again, it's whatever. superficial. Did I get baptized? Yeah, yeah. But it was, hey, Carissa, when are you going to get baptized? Mm. Oh, okay, sure, I'll go. You sure, I'll you go. Know, I'll it do wasn't. It. I didn't. It know wasn't. You meant. didn't. You didn't get saved first. It was just. Right. Are you going to get baptized? Yep. Yep. Wow. Yep. So it was all pressure related. You know, I went back home and I was continuing to, to be with this guy, whatnot, whatnot, mm-hmm. whatnot. whatnot. Uh, we went on a cruise together, mm-hmm. and this guy was constantly saying, "You still love him. You still love him." You're still, mm. Shut up. Like, t- I got really pissed off. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, of course, he's my husband. Like, yeah. why wouldn't I still love him? Right. And started to belittle me, started to mm. tell me I was a con artist, started to tell, like, just totally making me feel this big. Mm-hmm. Um, and one night, I called Terrence. Uh, wait, before that, you had a dream, though. Yeah? Was that before I called you? Yeah. So... I was coming back from the cruise, and he's like, "What are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing back in North what are Carolina?" You doing? <laughs> right. Um, I, like, I don't and, want you here. Right. Oh, well, I didn't think so. I didn't think you wanted me here. Yeah. <laughs> but he it was uh, like, "Hey, so big head." Out, hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at me! Oh my gosh! You know what's funny? Here we go, meeting again in an airport. <laughs> Sorry, that was today years old. But You're I'm today years old. You put all that together. <laughs> yeah, and. I guess he had had a dream prior to that Mm. that you saw me in the airport that he had seen me in the airport Mm. and we were talking and it just, and it happened. Mm. Um, But so I'd seen him in the airport, whatnot. And then I go, I go home and he, this guy is continuing to belittle me. So I stop communication Mm. whatsoever. And Late in the middle of the night, I'm just mentally drained, mentally exhausted, like just exhausted. Mm -hmm. And I call Terrence. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I need you to pray for me right now. Mm. And I'm like, I have no idea what I'm doing. I said, Terrence, I just need to. He goes, what's wrong? I said, I I don't know. Just I need you to pray for me right now. Mm -hmm. So he continues to pray for me, like all that. And uh, mind you, this is like April. Yeah. 
And we had we had separated in October mm-hmm. of that year before of I think 2011, no 2012, and then he uh, prayed for it was 2013 of that year April. So he's praying for we start to build our relationship back up. Mm-hmm. And in May, he drove cross country. Wow! To come live with me for a for a year. Wow! In Washington to fix our marriage. Wow! Yeah. Now our marriage is very, very, very strong. Yeah. Um, because it's centered around God. Yeah. Right. But God is who brought us back. Brought us like, back though together. I had no idea, right? Though mm-hmm. I had no idea what the heck was going on or what church was or what right. faith was. I yeah. was just there. I can say that in the time that I was exposed, mm-hmm. I learned that prayer was, prayer was works. intense. Like prayer was something that worked and it changes things. Yeah. And so the fact that I would for somebody who had no idea, like, whatever, I'm just going with the punches, would call somebody and say, pray for me. Yeah. Because I knew it would change something. Yeah. So, yeah. So we lived That's together. Good. We lived together for, we're, we lived in Washington for, till March of the following year. Mm-hmm. And then we drove back here. Yeah, I drove back. Because I found Plane out tickets. I was pregnant. Aww. Yeah, so I got pregnant and then we moved back to Raleigh. Mm-hmm. That was the longest drive ever. I don't recommend it to anybody when you're, you're pregnant. pregnant. <laughs> um, because that's North Carolina was where we wanted to raise our kids. We wanted to raise our family here. Uh, we had more family on Terrence's side yeah. for the boys. Um, but we're, we were back in North Carolina, and it is we went to we started attending the church we go to now in 2018, and I think that's really where my faith. Really grew. Grew mm-hmm. in our faith as a married couple has grew. grown. It is still constantly shifting and whatnot, and so is mine. You know, I considered myself to be very green, but I also consider myself to be more focused than I ever was mm-hmm. um, in the word. But in regards to our marriage, uh, we we attended our life marriage life group. That has definitely changed our mindset. Um I think an opportunity that we do have is praying together yeah. because we're very good at praying alone, <laughs> but, but everybody is right. Yeah. Um, but I, I, you know, that was a really, really, really difficult time for me, but I have learned now so much about myself of what I was seeking mm. is when in reality, I don't need, I don't need the love of my husband to yeah. be happy. I don't need the love of, Whoever. I don't need the love of my parents yeah. is, is that I just need to understand that God loves me. And, yeah. and, and if I don't understand that things are going to go left and right and yeah. I'm going to be so dependent on everybody else. And so I think since I've attended this church, since I've been more in my word and more intentional about being in the word that it has opened up my eyes to what I need yeah. versus seeking out other things. Yeah. If that makes any That's sense. good. I think that's the biggest thing about marriage is that, you don't really find out how strong you are until you're able to face those problems Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. face what really was the root of everything. Yeah. Um, Because for me, it's like, you know, hearing your story, hearing that it's like, man, it's like you, y'all both came back from Mm -hmm. a situation that really could have or should have ended your marriage. Yeah. But y'all came back. Yeah. And it wasn't (laughs) like what you said. It wasn't, the acceptance and the love of Terrence. It wasn't yeah. the acceptance and the love of this guy. It wasn't even the acceptance and the love from your parents or your upbringing. Yeah. It was the acceptance and the love of God yeah. that brought you back together. Mm-hmm. I think that is powerful in and of itself because so many people, you know, and I'm not just limited, limiting this to women, but guys too. It's like we search for love and acceptance in so many different places and areas yeah. and ways to where it takes those certain situations to happen for us to realize, like, oh, I just need to be accepted and yeah. loved by God. Yeah, yeah. Then I'm able to love and and do whatever I need to do for mm-hmm. other people. Mm-hmm. Because until then, it's like you're just gonna be out here wilding out, right, right, trying to find acceptance right. and trying to find things. No, mm-hmm. your acceptance and your love comes in Christ. Yeah. When me and Ter- like last weekend, when you know we were recording, and Terrence had mentioned it. You were like, he didn't mention <laughs> he didn't mention like you know all of the details, yeah, but he yeah. just said, "Yeah, we had separated." And I was just like, "Yes, I never knew that." I mean, mm-hmm. and for some we're reason, very it just of who we shared it with, yeah. so we're sharing it with to the, the whole world, world now. now, right? <laughs> but I think that it's a beautiful story yeah. because there's so many people that are 
at that age, y'all was like what twenty? You said you were twenties, early twenties. Mm-hmm. There's so many young marriages that's probably dealing with that right now. Yeah. Yeah. And they're like, how do we come back from this? Right. I know y'all said divorce is not an option. I know I was, mm-hmm. How do we get our, our marriage back centered on Christ to where we can? Yeah. And the key is just finding that love and acceptance mm-hmm. through God. Yeah. The thing that you think that you're missing from your spouse is what you're missing from, from God. Yeah. And, the, and if you're, you're just not opening it up, it's just right. Yeah. Opening yeah. it up, finding whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Going through that hard process and realizing, oh, I wasn't loved enough when right. I was a kid. Okay, well, God loves me. Yeah, that's yeah. all I need to know. Hello. <laughs> that's all I need. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't accepted by you know by my parents, or yeah. you know, I was rejected, or yeah. I was going through this. I was okay. Well, I find all of that in Christ. Mm-hmm. 